Hello there everyone, it's Carol here from the Crafty Emporium, howdly doodly. Welcome back, thank you very much for joining me again. At the moment, we are running um, a challenge a week and on my Facebook group, each of the moderators are taking it in turns to do different little challenges using some of my digital kits and some of my videos. Um, the first one was Michelle and she did tags. The second week was Natalie and she showed us how to make um, a little mini journal using my envelope journal as the inspiration and the new digital kit called Wraparounds, which is one of these images here. And it was using CD cases. So I've popped by today to come and show you how we went about or how Natalie went about putting together the CD cases to make them into a mini journal. And I have done, I've extended the video to be able to incorporate how I've made my own CD cases um, using a six by six paper pad. So I'll just give you a quick flick through. It's by no means finished. And the reason why I'm not showing it as a finished piece is that sometimes I think that it, it causes a stumbling block for people then to go on and use their own imagination. So all I've done here on the cover is I've taken a coffee dyed paper CD case. I've inked up the edges, done some faux stitching on it, and then I cut the back off. Left part of the, the flaps on the back on the sides and on the bottom to be able to attach it to the front cover and then in the top here I've cut out one of the images from the digital kit added a, a strap around from the front round to the back and this is one of the die cut shapes which you'll see later on but and, and the same with the strips as well you'll see where I got that from and I've just stuck it on the back so that that now acts as a belly band so it means you can write on the back of this you can write on this slip that in there pop that in there and it's a little bit of a, a secret journal place as well I would go on to decorate this further and obviously add a closure but it was just to show you the basics of how I made the CD cases using the patterned paper so if I open it up you can see that this was the paper pad that I used, which was uh, this one. And then obviously on the inside here, these form pockets. And I glued the images from the digital kit behind the die cut shapes. Now, as I say, it's not decorated um, at all. It was just to show the basics of how to go about making this little mini journal. What you do with it after that is entirely up to you. And then this back page here, you've got the pocket into the CD envelope itself. And you've also got the pocket that's behind the CD case and the cover. So I'm going to show you the basics of how you use the paper CD cases and how you put those together. That's the next bit. And then following on from that, I'll show you how to go about making your own CD cases out of your scrapbook papers. As I said previously, the original challenge was done with the paper CD uh, cases. And I just want to show you how they were put together. Um, now you could decorate these beforehand before you actually glue them together as pages. So you could tea dye them, coffee dye them, add book pages to them, add paper napkins to them, add printed tracing paper to them. You can decorate them up as you wish, but I just want to show you how I would actually put all these together. So basically with your first one, this flap here, normally you would have your CD case that way round. Okay, and put your CD in. But we're actually going to turn these on their side and you're going to have the flap on the left hand side. The first one we're going to fold over and stick down in place. So just a little bit of glue there to just flip that over and close it up. So that is now a completely encased envelope. All right, we're then going to get our second one. And again, we're going to put the flap on the left hand side. This one we're going to flip over and we're going to stick this flap onto the back of here. So if I fold it back on itself 
and place glue on there. And then I can flip it over and line it up so that it's all nice and square. So when I open it out, that flap has now acted as a hinge to hinge the pages together. And then we'll flip that one over again and we'll get the next one. So we'll get the flap out, have it again on the left hand side, flip it over, place some glue on the back and then flip the whole thing over and sit it on top of the previous one and so you would continue on with that with as many pages as you wish so then it opens up like this as a booklet now i have shown you in the next part how to make your own cd cases out of six by six paper so to be able to use them it was we actually cut it off a very very thin strip on this right hand side so that you can now access the actual pocket of the envelope to be able to insert something and then if you wanted to you could use the images from the kit and insert them inside and you could even glue them in position or you could add a little tab on the end so that they just slide in and then you can pull them out and then write on the back of those as as though they were journaling cards and then of course the back side of these you can cover in decorative papers to make them more pretty and attractive rather than leaving them blank or you could add lined paper on there for writing on but that was how we put the paper cd envelopes together i'm going to show you now in the next part how to make your own cd cases and then how it all then goes together so as I showed you previously with the paper version of the CD cases, I now want to show you how you can actually go about making your own. So even though these are really cheap to buy, they can be a little bit flimsy um, and they can be a little bit difficult to decorate, but you can make your own. So what I've done is I've chosen this six by six scrapbook paper that I'd got in my stash. And it just so happened that the colors go really well with the majority of the uh, a kit. So I've chosen a selection of papers and I've also chosen this just over three and a half inches in diameter um, circle die. So I'm going to need that as well. And I got some uh, 12 by 12 papers arrived in the post. And this is the cellophane packaging that they were wrapped there in. There are six images, um, although I'm not going to use, I'll show you the one I've already cut out. I'm not going to use the purpley coloured one um, because the others are very similar so there's two four five so there's five images that i'm going to use so i'm going to need 10 sheets of paper I've already done some measurements for you that you might want to make a note of so the cd case width or sorry height because we're having these if you remember rightly we're having them sideways on so we're not having them this way we're having them sideways on so the height of the cd case is five and a quarter inches the length of the CD case on the front is six inches. And I've also done this little arrow on here to show that this is the direction that the pattern needs to go on. And we're going to do a score line here at five and a quarter inches. All right. So that's for the front panel. For the back panel, we're going to cut a piece that's five and a quarter inches deep and five and a quarter inches wide. This is going to be one of my papers now. I can either match it up with the same paper on the front as well as on the back or I can alternate them and have one on the front and a totally different one on the back because the flap of this one on whatever is on the front is going to stick onto the previous page. So let's say that that's going to be the front, that's going to be the back. So they're going to sit like that and that will flip over and then the next envelope 
will be adhered to this so that will show on there so I just wanted to show you how I'm going to cut these two papers using my little idea here so I know that the height of this needs to be five and a quarter inches so I'm going to have to spin it and then cut it off at five and a quarter inches so that the pattern is the right way round when I spin it back that way all right and that this piece because it's going to be the front piece is going to be six inches so I can leave that one as it is and then the back piece if I flip this over is going to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter so that's the way I want the pattern to be I'm going to sit it on my five and a quarter that one trim off spin this round and do this at five and a quarter okay so i've now got my two pieces this is the front and this is the back and i'm just going to paper clip those together for the time being the next thing that i've prepped as well is the circles from the kit now these are much bigger than the actual apertures that are going to be in the cd cases so in this one where it's got the scalloped edge i'm just cutting on the inside line and i'm not being precious about it being a perfect cut because most of this is going to be covered over because I'm going to stick these inside the CD cases to show through the windows so that it looks pretty and then I can add things on top um, and then as you remove those things then you're left with the pretty image behind by the same token you can cut them out really neatly if you so wish and then you can have these as cards that will go inside the pockets that you can then pull out and you can write on the back of them so it sort of works either way really you can either glue them in or you can have them so that they actually become journaling cards inside the actual envelopes although i've said that the measurement is five and a quarter for the score line remember that's five and a quarter from this edge down so i'm actually going to score it at three quarters of an inch here on the left hand side so please remember to score it on the left hand side and not on the right hand so side i've now got all of those all cut out and ready and i've paired the front and the back together I've also saved all these big circles because sure i can think of something to make with those i could even um use them as cards to put journaling cards again to put back inside of the envelope put a little tab on the end make little notebooks from them even make its own little mini circle journal what i'm going to do now is i'm going to sit these back to back so that i've got the flap up this end and just tap it make sure that it's all nice and square and then with my pencil I'm just going to roughly go round where that circle is just to position it so that when I remove that I've got the circle in place so I know roughly where that's going to sit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put some collal glue on the back because this will now allow me to just maneuver the image itself around if it's just not quite in the right spot so I'm going to sit that make sure I've got it the right way around directional and just slot that on there and then before I push it in place I'm just going to position this again and just make sure that I've got it in the right position and I can maneuver this about because the glue still wet to get it in the right position on the back side next step is I've cut myself out a strip of the clear packaging that I'd got so I hope you can see that the cellophane and I'm going to stick it onto the back of the window and then I'm going to put glue around the circle And I'm just going to sit that on the back. Now what I'm going to do, now I've stuck this down with the glue, is this is the flap end here. I'm actually going to put some micropore 
micro pour because everyone keeps asking me every time I mention it. I have got a video on this, but it's called micro pour. There you go, micro pour. Um, and I've put uh, my Amazon affiliate link in the description box and you can click on the link there and it will show you where you can purchase these from. There. So I'm doing it on the right hand side, not on the left hand side. Okay. So that's where I've put the micro pore there. Now, if you want to ink that circle up, you need to do that before you put your acetate, your cellophane, or whatever it is that you're going to use um, prior to sticking that on. So if you want to ink it up, you need to do that before. All right. The other thing that you can do at this point, if you so wish, is you can take this to the sewing machine and you can sew around this circle. I'm actually going to draw my faux stitch line around this edge. It's just that I like the effect of the faux stitching and I find drawing lines therapeutic. That's that now drawn. The other reason I like drawing is, is it saves me getting my sewing machine out. So I've now got that faux stitch line all around there. Now I'm going to do this with all of these um, CD envelopes. All my envelopes together and we need to just think about this a little bit. If we think of a normal CD case, where the flap is, that's where the opening is, all right? But we're putting it sideways on and we want this to be the edge of the page. So it's this side that needs to be open and not this flap side that needs to be open. So because I've got two separate pieces, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place glue around one, two, three sides, okay? Normally it would go, one, two, three, and then where the flap is here, that would be the opening there, all right? But we want the opening to be here on this side, which is the reason why I put the micropore tape on the edge of the cellophane here, so that when I put something inside of this pocket, it's not going to catch on the edge of the cellophane there. And I'm gonna put glue down this side down here, not across where the micropore is. So I'm going to spin that round and then put it on this edge here and then spin it again. And I'm going to put it along this edge where that score line is. And so this micropore edge is left unglued. And then I'm going to sit it on top of there. So where this flap is now, that's now closed. But this edge is open so that I can insert something inside the pocket there. The other thing that I'm going to do, because these flaps are going to act as hinges, I'm going to use my border punch and I'm going to border punch these edges using this punch. And once I've done that, I'm going to ink up around all the edges on the front and on the back. So I'll come back and show you those in a minute. I've inked up all the edges of my papers. I've arranged these now in the order that I want them. The first one isn't going to be glued to anything. I'm going to flip that over, but I'm also going to bend that flap back. This is the one that is now going to be stuck to this one. I'm just going to put some collal on there and then I'm just going to spread it about with my finger a little bit and then I'm going to glue that flap onto the previous CD case and then I'm going to fold it to make sure that it is all lined up so that hinge from this side is now attached to this one Again, just fold that back, flip it over, put a line of glue on and then I'm going to just spread it about with my finger a little bit and then I'm going to sit that on top of there and that's now all my pages now all in place. 
For my cover, I'm going to use this 12 by 12 piece of olive cardstock, olive green cardstock that I've got. Um, 12 by 12 sheet, 300 GSM thereabouts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to five and a half inches, which will be the depth of the cover. And then the actual full length of this strip is going to be cut as <coughs> excuse me, at 11 and a quarter inches long. I'm going to now score it at five and three eighths. Five and one, two, three, five and three eighths. And five and seven eighths. And that will give me a quarter of an inch spine, which will allow for the depth of the CD cases. And then I can fold and burnish it so that I end up with that quarter of an inch spine there. I'm now going to attach my pages to my actual cover. Now I'm going to glue part of the back side of this. I'm going to try and leave it as a pocket. So I'm going to glue down this top and bottom edge in a minute, but I'll talk to you about where we're going to glue down this edge in a second and you'll understand why. This little flap here, which was the one that I originally did with the punched edge, now becomes null and void on this first page. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to curl it around the actual pages to the back. Before I glue it into position though, I'm just going to taper the edges or the ends of that punched border edge because otherwise it'll stick out beyond the actual page itself and then I can put a little line of glue down here to just kind of hold it in place. Now I'm curling it round loosely, I'm not pulling it round tight at all to allow for the pages to be able to move and it now means that the edges of all of those pages has now got its own almost like little spine area there. Now I'm going to butt the edge of this up with the edge of that score line there so that that will sit like that and then when I open the pages they'll all lay flat. The reason why I'm showing you this is because of where we're going to place glue on the back of this last page and I'll try and bring the camera in so that you can see if I tilt it slightly, if I hold that down, can you see there's a slight gap here, All right? And that's because of the depth of these pages are lifting it up and off the actual back cover itself. So I can't put glue on the back edge of all of this, all right? So it's only to go to about here, I need to do a line of glue on the back here to allow for this part to be able to manoeuvre. So I can't do it right the way up to the edge. There will be glue from about this point here. So you can see there's a fair gap. And then I also want to do a line of glue across the bottom and the top so that I then can form a pocket on the back. So I can now flip that over and this edge is going to line up with the edge of that score mark. As this opens up, that bit is glued there, but this edge here isn't, but it's attached to the edge of the page and then I've not only got the pocket with the CD case, but I've also got, I'm going to do it carefully, I've got a pocket down the back in between the CD case and the cover as well. And then I can decorate the front cover, the spine and the back cover as I wish. That's my little journal. Now, I've been asked this before when I did the envelope journal, can I add more CD covers than that? Yes, you can if you want. You might need to reconsider the depth of your spine um, to allow for the depth of the actual CD covers 
when you come to fold it up to make it into a booklet so yes you can add more it also if you add too many because we haven't decorated this up or anything yet it can add a lot of pressure onto this back page here where it's been attached to the back cover so if you add too many it can become too heavy for it and it could start to lift this back page off the back cover thanks very much for watching and i'll see you all again in the next video bye for now